Office Scripts is like running a macro on the web. So for example, you can record some tasks that you usually do in Excel, and then you just run it on other data sets or on other online files. With Power Automate, you can run your script without ever opening your file. You can run your script from your mobile, you can run it based on a schedule, or you can run it if something happens in another app. So you've seen Office Scripts on the channel before, and you've also seen Power Automate, and links to these videos are gonna be available below or in the cards. Now what you haven't seen is how these two can work together. And don't worry if you're completely new to both of these tools because you can still watch this video and by the end, you're gonna see the possibilities of what you can achieve with both of these and hopefully you'll have some ideas on how you can apply it to your own processes. So here's the scenario that we're dealing with here. I wanna create a script that applies a special formatting to all my Excel sheets. So not just one sheet, but all the sheets in the Excel file. Now I want the script to run not just on one file, but on any file that I have in a folder. So basically the script will loop in the folder. If it's an Excel file, it's gonna run it on every sheet of that Excel file. Sounds complicated, but really it's not that bad. Let's start off with our script. So I've logged into office.com and I want to create my script based on some data that I have in this file called two formats. I'm just going to open this up. The data that I want to format is right here. Now the length of the data is going to change, but the thing that's going to stay fixed is that I will always have two columns and my header is going to be on the first row. I will also always have text in the A column and numbers in the B column, but they can be different things. It doesn't have to be position and salary. What I want to do is apply the formatting to this, and I want to create my macro in a way that it would automatically run for every single sheet. So no matter how many sheets this file has, it would run on this data set as well and apply the same formatting. Okay, so let's go ahead and record our steps. I'm going to go to the Automate tab and record the actions. So recording has started. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, as you saw in here, for example, we have a different background color. So first thing I'm gonna do is to remove any existing formatting that might be there. So I'm just gonna select these two columns, go to home, under editing here, clear, and clear the current formats. Next thing I'm gonna do is to apply number formatting to the B column. So I'm just gonna highlight this, go to the formatting options here, more number formats, number, thousand separator, and zero decimal places, and click on OK. Next, let's add a background color to this, make it bold, and add a bottom border. Last, I wanna auto fit these columns. I'm just gonna double click to make sure they fit well. Okay, we're done. Let's stop the actions here. My script was recorded. Before we take a look at what is inside, let's give this a name. I'll call it formatting. Now let's go to edit. Okay, so this is all that was recorded. Now you don't need to understand all of this, but it's easy to identify what each step is. So here dot clear is where I cleared the formatting. And here we also have a comment or a description of this macro that was applied. Down here, we added a bottom border. We auto fit the columns in the end. All of this is being applied to the active worksheet. We can see that here. We don't want that. Instead, we want it to apply to every single worksheet that we have in this file. To figure out how to do this, I take a look at the documentation that we have available for Office Scripts. You're gonna find it in docs.microsoft.com. It starts off with the basics of scripts, and then down here we have collections. So this is what we need because we're dealing with a collection of worksheets. So we're gonna need a different syntax. And the syntax we need is right here. This one gets all the worksheets in the workbook. That's what we need. So I'm gonna copy this, go back to my script, and instead of let selected sheet equals the active worksheet, I'm gonna change that, just replace it with what I copied from the demo. This time let sheets equals workbook.getWorksheets. Now after getting the worksheets, I need this macro to loop through each of the worksheets. So there is another part of code that I need. And if we go back here, we can see the code right here. 
It says this sets the tab color for each worksheet to a random color. Now we don't want to set the tab color, but we do want to deal with some code that gives us each worksheet. And that's this one. Notice this syntax is similar to VBA. We have four each there. Here we have four let sheet off sheets. So sheets is the name that was given here and sheet is each single object in the collection. Notice we also have the open curly bracket, so it means we need to add the closing curly bracket to this as well. So I'm going to copy this, go back to the code here, and right before all of this is executed, I'm going to paste what I copied, and to make sure I don't forget that closing curly bracket, I'm going to add it to the end here. Okay, so now we have let sheet off sheets, but this one is referencing selected sheet, which we don't have anymore. Instead of selected sheet, I need sheet because I need each single object in that collection. So I'm going to press Control H, replace selected sheet with just sheet, sheet from this one, and replace all. And that's it, we're done. Let's save the script. And just to make sure it runs, let's just take a look at this sheet. It has this ugly formatting. I'm going to go to the first sheet here and run this just to make sure the macro is working properly. Now when I go to report to tab, everything looks great. Okay, so we're done with the first part of this challenge, which was to create a macro that runs for every single sheet. Now we want to go to Power Automate and run this macro for every single file that we have in a folder. And we want to be able to schedule this so it can run at a specified time without us having to worry about it. This file is saved on my OneDrive for Business in a folder called Reporting. Now in this reporting folder, I have other files as well that I want to apply the formatting to. So for example, this salaries file, it currently looks like this. I have different sheets here, but I'm missing that formatting. So I want to schedule a script that automatically opens these files and applies the formatting. But I need to be careful because I don't want the script to run on anything that's not an XLX file. So let's set that up with Power Automate. I'm going to go back to the office page here and go and find Power Automate. Let's now create a new flow. You can create an automated cloud flow so it's triggered when a specific event occurs. You can have an instant cloud flow. Here you can run the flow automatically from your mobile. You can also schedule a flow. So this time let's go and schedule this. I'll call it monthly formatting. You can decide when you want the flow to start to run and then how often you want it repeated. So I'm going to go with once a month and click on create. Now let's add a new step. First thing I need to do is to get the list of files that I have in my OneDrive folder. So let's search for OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, list files in folder, right? So that's what I need because I want to loop through each single file and execute my script. I need to browse for the folder. Mine is called reporting. Next step is to run my script. My script is for Excel online and we see it right here, run script. First thing I need to do is the location. Mine is OneDrive for business, document library. This is just OneDrive. The file itself, well, it's not a specific file. Instead, it's each single file that is listed here. So I need dynamic content here. Now this is a bit difficult to see, so let's expand this a bit more. I need to grab the unique identifier of the file. So I'm going to go with ID and check this out. The moment I selected that, it added an automatic apply to each control right here because it's smart enough to identify that I have multiple files here and I probably want to apply the script to each file in this folder. So I don't need to do anything here, but I didn't have a chance to pick the script, which I can do right now. Notice here, this is what I mentioned before. It's telling me that we've added a for each container for you, for each enables you to perform actions for each individual item in a set of values. Great, I got it. Now let's go ahead and select the name of the script and I call the script formatting. Okay, so, so far so good. Right now, when I save this, it's going to apply the script to each file in a folder, but it's not going to check whether it's an Excel file or not. So remember, that's something that we wanted to add. So I'm going to add an action here. That action is a control action, 
And what I need is a condition here because I need to check whether a file extension or file name ends with XLSX or not. So my condition here is basically the name of the file because check this out, we have name and we have name without extension. So this means that name must include extension. Instead of is equal to, I need ends with, and for choose a value, I'm gonna go with XLSX. You can add different extensions here as well, whatever you need. Now the condition should be the first thing that's checked and if this condition is met, then we want the script to run. So I have to grab this and drag it and drop it in the if yes box. If no, I can leave empty because I don't want anything to happen if this condition isn't met. Now let's save this. We can test the flow from here and see if it works. So I'm gonna trigger this manually right now. Let's test and let's run the flow. Flow has started, let's click on done. Okay, I can see it running here and it completed successfully. So now let's check, well, nothing should have changed here. Let's bring up the salaries file, let's check that. When I open it up, I have my new formatting applied to each single sheet. Now, anytime I add a new file to that Excel folder, it's gonna run whenever my flow is triggered. And currently it's triggered on a monthly basis. I can update that or change it to a manual trigger and run that from my mobile app. Okay, so as you can see, that's an example of how Power Automate can work together with Office Scripts. I hope this video gave you some ideas that you can apply to your own work. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Do hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to our channel yet. And I'm gonna catch you in the next video.